How are you doing, Jerry? How good, you? Good, good. Guys, we're going to show you one tip on this four-inch short ball, and it's going to make a huge difference. We're not going to take a lot of time. Uh, Jerry is one of our coaches, and also he's a very, very high-level player. So you'll know exactly what I mean when we're done with this. Stay tuned. Better than he ever was, yeah. That's what he thinks. So what many players do is they don't realize when you run to a short ball, you need to explode to the ball and realize there needs to be a stage where you slow down and hit. So this is what happens uh, when players run to the ball maybe too fast or they never stop running. It would look like this. So as you can see, he's a high level player, so he made that one, but this is very risky. Look how he never stops. Yes, no timing at all. Okay. So as you can see, he's, he's not stopping at all. There's no timing, okay? The ne and the same, the same problem can also be done a different way. So what many players actually do is they, before they go, they wait too long before they start running, okay? So if you wait too long before you start running, you'll have no choice but to run until you get it. And again, then there was no slow down before you hit it. So it would look like this. So he's recognizing the ball too late, and now he has to also can't stop. Okay, so this is also the thing with the eye coordination, how quick you're seeing the ball. But notice how he's waiting and then he wants to go. So then he has no choice but to keep running. Let's show them one more bad one there, Jerry. And he's waiting too long, then he goes. Okay, big mistake on the short ball. And I want you guys to, next time you do your short ball, understand that you are probably running through your short ball, okay? Now this champ is gonna show us how he usually does it. He was showing you the wrong way. This is what it should look like. I want you to spot him and look at him right before he contacts the ball, okay? He found a way to get to that ball early enough so that he has time to slow down, set up, and then hit. It's the only way you're gonna hit a massive short ball. Okay, go. All right, you guys notice those small little steps before he hits it and sets up. He actually, what he does very well is he's there quick enough and then there's time for him to load and hit. Show them again there, Jerry. Oh, perfect example. No problem if you missed. Your feet are looking good. Nice, that's a clean forehand. No wonder you think you can beat me. And again, I'll give you two more. Look at him, slowing down. All right. And there's a very short one, same thing. Did you guys notice even on the very short one, he recognizes that and then he gets to the ball so there's time to slow down. Anything you want to add? No, it's a bit out of breath. It's a bit out of breath, um, but his, his forehand is one of his really big weapons and notice how he got to the ball quick enough and even still used open stance. But the thing was the timing of the movement. So next time you do your short ball, make sure you're not running too late because then you're going to run through it. Make sure you're not running too fast or too quick and then never stopping. Have that slow down moment. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, I think one more thing is, even that I'm out of breath is, there's gonna take more out of you. Good one. But the result will be better. 100%, so what he's saying is, makes so much sense. And it's with anything, if you look, if you look at your game, you wanna improve. If you wanna do it the right way, it's gonna take more energy, but it's worth it. Guys, I've got an in-depth video on the short ball with more tips. It goes even deeper into the short ball on the screen right now.